Hello. I I can't stop playing this game. I have I have actually this is my third night in a row recording and I just really want to see more things now in this game and I'm I'm putting other games in the backlog and same with other let's plays but here we are. Here we are. So let's see. Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. Fire truck Miller's car. Let's do Miller's car. Let me just check one more time just in case. Damn it. Okay. Let us get it done. Why am I singing? I don't know why I'm singing. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, so let's see. Oh, it's a sports car. It's, uh, what series is this from again? Right? And it's actually kind of clean over here, which is interesting. Oh, but it's so mossy, though. It is very mossy. Well, let's, let's take care of it on the clean section, because that would technically be faster. And we'll get this done. You might find the odd streaky line where Bert tried to clean it with his power washer. Dribble washer, more like it. Ha ha. Oh my lord. Uh, <laughs> it's all caps. It's all caps. Have I met someone that has only used all caps before? Actually, no. Not even family who are just recently got into technology. So, like, I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> I don't understand why people would be using all caps. Oh, but, you know, taking a closer look at this, look, even though I used the yellow nozzle, this sucks. This right here, this right here sucks. It's all rust, and I don't want to buy cleaners, even though the cleaners would help me tremendously. And to top it all off, I have the money, and it's like, what? How much is the professional washer really going to cost me? Like maybe $3,000, $4,000, right? By Jiminy, that's right. I used to race this beast all over. It's got... A grunt like an angry rhino. Heck, I won the 1989 race of champions in it. Did you now? Then why did it get so dirty? Well, I mean, it is. No, no, I didn't. I watched that on TV. <laughs> so then what the hell is this? Come on, man. Get it together. I don't know. Oh, my God. I, I can't clean this with the third... With the strongest power washer. It's the 3000. And... <laughs> And the 15? Oh no. So I might have to do this painfully. Yeah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Oh no. Hey, dirt. You're gonna tell me a joke. I don't want to hear a joke. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh my lord. Oh my lord. Get lost, would you? <laughs> Got him. Got him. Jesus. You got nothing better to do with your time, buddy? Okay. <laughs> Uh, solid three out of three out of ten joke would not tell again. Why are you laughing? <laughs> oh, <it's> so cringe! <laughs> I thought I was cringy. <laughs> I mean, I still am, but. Gaddy! How long will you be? I was thinking of taking the car for a tear up down the old abandoned sewer system. I ju I'm about to just wash it. How dare you muck it up again? Oh, I mean, you're paying me, so it's not like I can be all that angry, you know? But still, that's kind of a kick in the head, right? You ju I just cleaned it. I just cleaned it. God, I sound like a parent. I'm not even a parent. <laughs> no. Ah, oh, damn it. This is what it means to get old. You just get corny. <laughs> well, I'm not that corny, but still. I had a word with Lenny, and he's certainly not going to be tearing it up down the sewer system. We'll be sticking to Main Street for now. Ah, oh, yes. The, uh, uh... The wife had to stop. To stop him. Oh, my lord. Oh, this is too funny. It's really just too funny. 
I'm just, I'm literally just smiling. I, I don't, I don't laugh a whole lot unless something's like absolutely hilarious. Which I do, actually, funny enough, I do, it's actually easy to, to make me laugh. Right, if I would ever try a try not to laugh challenge, I would probably laugh in like the first few, few of them. Unless I've seen it before, then I might not laugh. But honestly, the dumbest crap makes me laugh. Like, the actually, actually like the dumbest stuff. Like, I just go around TikTok, right? And I'm just randomly on my For You page. And some of the things I find just absolutely just tears me apart. It's just really funny. Oh my god. Like, a part of me wants to, like, save it, save the video, and then put it up here, but I'm pretty sure there's some copyright involved with some of the music. Like, I don't even know how TikTok handles their, their, their copyright music stuff, because if I remember correctly, like, when you watch a TikTok video, you'll see the song, right? Unless it says original music, right? If it says original music, then that means, you know, they couldn't detect the song, and that person is using it, right? But if, if the music is known, then it will write down, it will be like, contains music from, and then it will tell you where the music is from. The thing is, though, I don't know if people lose money if, like, let's say they're monetized through TikTok, which, by the way, Canada is not monetized through TikTok, which is um, unfortunate, I suppose, because in the case I want to do TikTok, I can't get paid, but that's okay, I don't really care. Like, I'm still going to put stuff on TikTok eventually, because unlike Vine, it doesn't look like it's going anywhere anytime soon. Like, this is actually really nuts. I did not expect that. Like, I was legitimately expecting it to come and go like Vine did. Because, yeah, it's fun. It's a nice thing to have, right? But, like, Vine looked like it worked, too. But something just didn't happen. Something didn't work out. And, you know, now Vine is no longer really a thing. So, yeah. But, like, since TikTok's actually sticking around and it's got all sorts of utility to it, I might as well put my stuff, uh, some stuff up there. Not all of my stuff, because I know I do Let's Plays and montages right but i think now that you i think now you can put up to three minute videos uh uh on tiktok so i think i can do like two parters for my montages you know just put the whole thing up on tiktok it's much easier to uh and much more accessible which is honestly how tiktok kind of kind of blew up right it's, it's accessibility like vine had accessibility too but unfortunately like actually i don't know like vine Vine came before TikTok, and I don't quite understand why it didn't work. Maybe it was the UI? I honestly could not tell you. I could not tell you at all. What's interesting is I didn't hop on it back when it was a thing, and that, I was in high school when it started. So, yeah, like, some, some something doesn't make sense. I mean, I'm not one to know about, you know, uh, how the rise and fall of certain applications or phones. Like, remember BlackBerry? Yeah, we all remember BlackBerry. It was the new best thing. It doesn't get any better than that. And then, turns out, it, you can. <laughs> Every process of evolution has its ugly step. And the BlackBerry was absolutely the ugly step of the evolution for phones. Oh, man, this is meticulous. It's because it's all rust, right? Like, I ran over this with the yellow nozzle, right? So, so like, if, if it wasn't rust, it would have been done. Because this is the strongest power washer. But, here we are. Sticking to the... Uh, old reliable, I guess we can call it. Oh, I just noticed that. It says clam. <laughs> That's really funny. Well, hold on, hold on. Let me look at the car now. It's mostly clean. So we got clam. That's a reference to shell. Yeso, which is an <laughs> the reference to Esso. Uh, pasties. That one I don't know. I should know like the logo, but I don't know pasties. Funs. <laughs> Worthy speed, wash targets, dirty oil, winner. I yeah, honestly, I don't know. Noble. That's also another one I don't know. Damn it! I know Yeso. I know Clam. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's actually pretty funny. Cause yeah, all the older cars, right, or the race cars, I should say. But like, just you wouldn't even see the car anymore, right? You would legitimately only see the freaking ads all over it. Like I'm talking about all over it. Okay, so we have the allo alloy wheel, a door, and the car. I find it funny that it's just called the car. So uh, let me see if I can just get the car done. Uh, where's the alloy wheel? This should be it. Yeah, this is one of the alloy wheels. I did that one, I did that one. Hey, this one. 
Okay, and now it's just the car. So where the hell is the least amount of dirt? Being meticulous with me again, or very specific is what I meant to say, which makes it meticulous. Like, if there was a bigger patch, I think that would clean it. There we go. Doc, the car looks so fresh. You're a soap star. Haha, <laughs> no. I cannot wait to see old Bert's face when me and Dolores streak past his front yard and he sees what a power washing pro can do. Nice. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. His power washer couldn't do what mine could. <laughs> Let's take a look at the time lapse. Ooh. Yeah, this thing, it was just caked on moss and rust. So, but the thing is though, the individual nozzle, the red nozzle, is really good with that kind of stuff. So I don't have to worry about about cleaners anymore. All right, let's get this fire truck done next. Just no nonsense, just keep going. While the momentum's strong. I think that took me like maybe 20 minutes to do, which wasn't bad, not terrible. Okay, let's take a look at this fire truck. Yeah, that's, that's dirt all right, but I think I should have an okay time with the yellow one because it's not all completely caked on. Oh, but this thing has so many little knickknacks on it that I think they count towards, you know, cleaning up the car in terms of its parts or truck, I should say. That's okay, because look, I've already got one side of it pretty much done. Oh my god, look at that wheel. I'm going to do that last. So the wheel's completely rusted. Not much we can do about that. But I will use the red nozzle for that later. So like, I'll leave the rust and then do the rust afterwards. Man, everything's got rust. Why does everything have rust? I mean, that's kind of natural now that I think, but why am I asking that question? Things get rust when they're dirty. Oh, but you know what the thing I hate, speaking of rust, one of the things I hate the most? When you're trying to bust out old board game or electronic board game, uh, and you see the rust in the springs, which then makes it uh, either pretty wonky or pretty much def not defective, but like now it no longer works. That's an that's an unfortunate series of events. You know, there's a theory that the cat's not really missing. What are you on about? What cat are you talking about? What cat? I know firefighters save cats and all. That the mayor's using it as a distraction device, so no one notices all the pipeline stuff. Oh, <laughs> oh, that. I think I vaguely remember a conversation about. There was some cat in the mayor and stuff like that, and I don't know, but I just vaguely remember it. It's it's whatever. I couldn't care less about and then about the pipeline issues though. Does everyone care about the pipeline? Oh, that was satisfying. Just three dings in a row. Sweet. But anyway, so yeah, back to the main story that I had. Right, like I wanted to. to I, the reason why I bring it up is because I remember we had an old Uno attack machine from like two thousand and. I think it was 2006, 2008, right? And I was like, hey, I wanna, we want to play Uno Attack again, right? Because Uno kind of came back on the rise and whatnot, right? Especially with the video game on the PS4 and obviously the PC everywhere. It's pretty much everywhere. It's just such a shame that it was run by Ubisoft and it doesn't work half the time. <laughs> but I think it's mostly fixed. They did come out with the 50th anniversary pack. What the hell was that? Can we get an instant replay? Oh my God. <laughs> what was that? It just... It, it, uh, <laughs> it kind of angled in a way that I was not expecting. But anywho, back to my story because something really likes to distract me. I wanted to play Uno Attack because Uno was on the rise again. And unfortunately, the machine that we had, all the springs got rusted. Even with the most thorough cleaning, uh, unfortunately, it barely works. It works, but like it's it on and off. Hey, bud, do you know if the mayor's cat's still missing? I'm, I'm up at the volcano. I think I see him on the outer rim. I'm going in for a closer look. Oh no. Don't fall in the volcano. Just throw the cat in and be done with it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure your life is worth more than the cat's. What people will do for their pets. Or political animals? Something like that. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, like, so rust on that just sucked and I'm like, no, not our old Uno attack. Well, this is caked in. Right? But, like, that's just, like, you know, it was just an unfortunate series of events. And I ended up buying a new Ono Attack on Amazon for, like, 20 bucks. Not, even, like, around 20 bucks. It was 20 25 dollars. And then we started playing that. And it just sounds different and everything. But, hey, it's the Uno Attack, so it works. But we're still keeping the machine, the original one, because, hey, it's a, it's a nice little thing to have, you know? Kind of like collector's memorabilia or something like that, even though it's been open and used. Like, like to kind of talk about collector's for a minute... Collector's stuff is, um, how do I describe it? Like, I understand why people do collector's things. What I don't understand is why everything has to be an absolute, like, you know what I mean? Like, it has to be in the box, never touched. 
constantly cleaned. Absolutely has to be like, it's like basically core. <laughs> I'm not saying that because we've been hearing that word a lot throughout all of 2020 and 2021. I don't want to, I don't want to bring the, up those bad memories, even though we're kind of already still in it, you know, but anyway, right. So we, so like, well, hold on. Something's being written here. Police rules fire. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> All right. Looks like the police department's full of shenanigans. Uh, but anyway. Oh, hey, Doc. We have a lovely little job for you up at the house when you're free. No weird stuff. Promise. Okay. I'll par I'm pretty sure I'll do that over the treehouse, but it depends on what it is. Like, if it's worth more than the treehouse, I'm going to call it a shirt prop. It's definitely Ulysses. I can see his funny leg. Hey, don't fall in the volcano. Don't you do it. I'm literally just picturing a guy on like the edge of a volcano walking around the rim of the of, of it why would a cat hang out 10 feet from a lava flow though because they're nuts cats are nuts <laughs> i don't hate cats i really don't but i'm not a cat lover either you know like i guess it's like the world's best vlog fire <laughs> yeah and then some like is the cat cold like i'd imagine the cat would be cold but anyway like, I'm not, like, I'm not a cat person, but I don't mind cats. I, I don't know, like, cats, cats are weird. They're moody, right? Dogs are never moody. They have moods, because we all have moods. Like, everything has a personality. But, um, but cats are just temperamental. Dogs, not so much. Unless you have, like, a sissy dog, then, you know, not much you can do about that. <laughs> oh, my lord. Oh, this is going to be a pain. The, the ladder, the two ladders here on the on the truck. But with all this rust, it's going to take me some time. Oh, my lordy. But yeah, what was I talking about? I was talking about the Uno machine, and I was talking about something else. Oh, yeah, collector stuff. I got, I got, I got to get on top of that. Okay, I'm within a whisker of Ulysses now. He's going to fall in the volcano. He's going to fall in the volcano. I'm, I'm gonna remember my point, but I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait. We're up on this outcrop, and Mount Rushless is rumbling more than ever. Well, then you should probably get off the freaking volcano. How much do you think? How much do you think? How much money do you think you're gonna make for saving the mayor's cat? I've always been a dog man, and now I know <laughs> why. Hey, my my sentiments exactly. Freaking temperamental. I'm pretty sure if any of us, uh, any of us. I'm pretty sure if you had a cat. And there was a volcano. I bet you, I freaking bet you money that it will try to it find its way to the volcano one of these days. Oh boy. <laughs> anyway, back to collector stuff. Um, the collector stuff is like I co I've collected stuff before. I actually have amiibos from Smash Four. I'm only missing one from the, having the entire set, but individually I'm still pretty good, right? And I kept them in their cases and whatnot. I can even look at them from here. Should I put a picture in? Nah, nah, I'm not gonna put a picture in. Not yet, not until I complete it. I, I feel a little off not having a completed version. I'm literally just, okay, that was just a truck. I'm literally just missing uh, the Mii Fighters. I should have bought the three pack when I had the chance, but now it's going for egregious prices. Uh, but literally, I will, I will, as long as it's in English, because I have the whole select co co um, collection in English, right? So as long as it's in English, I don't mind just having one out of the three. I don't care. Like, you know, not having a me gunner and a me fighter you know, or enemy swords fighter. Okay, that's why I'm sorry. I got, I got tripped up there for a minute. Oh, you know what? I will take it. That would have taken forever to get that rust off. 86% cleaned. Okay, we're doing good so far. So we're just missing, ah, oh, we're missing the rust off of these little itty bitty pieces. Gotta clean the hose. Which I haven't cleaned yet, hold on. But yeah, right, and people like make super pristine, have super pristine conditions for like cards and stuff. And don't get me wrong, I understand like the PSA ratings are indeed a thing, right? So I do understand why it needs to be as protected as possible because you do not want your $600 Charizard like that's, I think that's the Shining Fates one, right? The black Charizard, full art black Charizard uh, GX card, I think it was. I think that retails for 600 or something like that. From last I remember, I think Ray pulled one, which is what everyone's looking for. Everyone's also looking for the rainbow Charizard from the same set or a different set, something like that, right? So, so yeah, that's the thing. 
So I get it, you want to protect your cards, but like, since when? I'm like, I want you to guys to realistically think about something for a minute. And I'm sorry for any card collectors, I'm about to pull you out of the zone here for a minute. I need you to understand something. That is a piece of sparkly cardboard, <laughs> okay? Like, 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 don't go too upset. Like, if you enjoy it, you enjoy it. Like, I like collecting cards too, don't get me wrong, but like, there's no need to go absolutely nuts on it, right? Man, this ladder, though. But anyway, yeah, like, there's no need to go absolutely nuts on it, right? So, at least that's what I believe, you know? Like, I'm gonna collect cards, too, but I don't... I don't personally believe that you need to, like, go all nuts with them, right? Like, my amiibo just hanging off this wall, uh, this wall that I'm looking at, you guys are not gonna see, most likely. Right? They're just hanging off of a wall. They're not in pristine condition. I didn't put them in a bunch of boxes and whatnot. Oh my god, it's so caked on. Oh wow. This wheel is so caked on. There we go. Wow. Okay. Ah. But you know, I'm just so you know, I'm not bashing on collectors. I, I understand why they do it, right? You want things to be nice and pristine. And I get that, I really do. Right, you nobody want like when you collect stuff, you don't want things to be broken in pieces, right? So you're kind of taking the necessary precautions. But if I recall correctly, trying to get something PSA rated is uh, it costs a pretty penny, at least from what I understand. Oh yeah, that's that's not gonna work. I have to use this nozzle right here for the control panel. Oh boy, but yeah, so like I understand that like it costs good money though, just to get something rated by a professional. I'm gonna use the spinning nozzle. This might work. Yeah, this this is yeah, this is working. We should use this instead. So, um, like I'm definitely going to collect some stuff of my own. Like I said, I remember in the previous episode, which was a really long episode. I'm sorry about that. Like I just got really really into it, and I think this one's gonna be uh kind of long, like the usual, right? But I think I'm only gonna be doing these two vehicles, and then the next level, depending if it's something that will take time or not. So we're just gonna have to see where it where it, where it takes us, you know. But I am sorry about the hour and oh god, how long was it? I just been I just finished exporting it. I think it's an hour and seven minutes, or like a little more than that. I think I did three things because yeah, I did the <laughs> the ten dollar job that actually took a while to do. Okay, two fog lights, one hose, and the emergency lights. The emergency lights are up there. The hose. There's another hose somewhere? I cleaned this. Oh no, I didn't clean the hose. <laughs> there we go. 
two fog lights. Should be in the front, yeah? Unless these count. These are the fog lights. Yeah, here they are. Okay, okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. Come on. There we go. F.A., you're a legend. This is this is absolutely pristine. Even the rust's gone. That should get the mare off our backs for a while, which means we can all get back to doing the jobs we're paid for. Thanks, pal. Nice. Okay, that didn't take too, too long. Another 20 minutes. Yeah, another 20 minutes. Done and done. No, but I'm happy, though. Like, again, the little knickknacks on, on the fire truck took a bit, and all the rust, too, made me use the um, linear nozzle, but that's okay. That is quite all right. So let's see here. What are you on about? Oh, it's just a van. I could do a van. I could do a van. I was going to try to be like, oh, I'll give you guys like a 25 minute video, 25 minute video to kind of compensate for the hour and seven minutes. But let's just get this done, right? It's a recreate. It's a recreation vehicle. And yeah, 400 bucks, which means this could take some take a bit, but that's OK. I want like I said, I was going to do all vehicles and possibly what comes up next because the treehouse is absolutely going to be. The last thing on it. Oh, it's again from the haunted house. Like, how many vehicles do you have? I mean, it's fine, though, regardless. Oh, they even got, like, a little, a little heart here. They probably did the business in this thing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm allowed to get away with on YouTube. That's why I'm saying it in such a weird way. Just want to say how grateful Jenny and I are for everything you've done for us. It really helped us get on our feet. Huh. How nice. Oh, there's rust. Of course. Of course there's rust. It sounds silly, but watching the house when no one else would made such a difference. And as for the car... Okay. You got a point. Let's see what it is. Oh, wait. It's gone. There's no point. Damn it. Okay. Fine. Leave me hanging. I don't care. I kind of care. <laughs> Our driving Miss Pebbles live streams flopped. The va the fans just want Esther, so we sold the car for a lot. I mean, a lot. I mean, a yes, we do want to what? Hold on. I actually want to read that message because it pertains to money. Messages. I mean, I mean a yes, we do want to supersize a lot. Okay. All right. And that was me failing for 10 seconds of where the message button was. <laughs> But damn, yeah, of course it's worth a lot. It's a vintage-ass car, you know, right? Those things go for at least, at least half a million. It's ridiculous, but in the good way. kind of doo-doo I can't climb the ladder oh now I can wow that was it was the moment I started talking I was like I could prove you wrong <laughs> oh man we've raided the attic for all of Esther's old stuff and put it all in the vlog it's gonna it's gone bananas well of course it has it's it's kind of like a piece of history and what's fascinated me the most is Telemetry. I'm really getting into an analytics. Telemetry? What the hell is that? I actually don't know what that is. I should probably search it up myself. But I'm not going to because I don't care. <laughs> and look at these interesting tats. They're not tats. Oh, it's a it's a hippie van. <laughs> oh, almost fell off the said hippie van. Oh, my lord. But it's, it's fine. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. At first, I was like, the hearts, right? Oh my god, it's probably somebody's love van. But I'm like, nope. It's no love van. It's no love bus. It is uh, absolutely from from the 70s. Oh, that's... that. Like, the fact that they recreated something like this in the game is pretty nice. It's pretty nice.
Jenny's changed too. Traded in cryptozoology for cryptocurrency. Itty bitty coin looks like the next big thing if you need a tip. Oh, you could have told me that all those years ago when said uh, itty bitty coin was getting up there. It's a big. <laughs> um, man, like, like, don't get me wrong. I'm not. I don't really care for that kind of stuff. But at the same time, you know, we all need an extra buck. You know what I'm saying? The upshot of all this, all this is, we want you to have the RV. Uh, I mean, I'm not usually one to to reject offers, but there's a good chance someone fucked in this. We can't have her sitting idle. She's born for the open road. Okay, cool, but I'm pretty sure something happened in there. I don't want any of it. <laughs> Anywho. I think everything that's left is rust and graffiti. Maybe you can take your job to other countries, or maybe you know someone on the lookout for one. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't mind taking it and then selling it to someone else. That I don't mind. But what I do mind is the fact that you're trying to give me an old-ass RV from the 70s that I am pretty sure smells of stuff I don't want to smell. So, <laughs> no thank you. So I also just realized, to kind of just hop off of that point completely, the remaining 19% its all rust and graffiti. This is going to take a lot more time. I know I've said it in the past before, don't get me wrong, but like, we're getting into the rust territories now, which means none of the nozzles except for the most powerful red one and this turbo one will do anything to the bloody rust. So. Hope you're ready, because I'm not.
piss. Okay, <laughs> now that that's out of my system, what do we got left? The bumper, the exhaust, and the underside. So I'm assuming it's the front bumper. Yeah. Okay. And then the exhaust and the underside, which are under the same thing, right? So this is the exhaust. Huh? Okay, that was the underside. So what am I lit missing for the exhaust? Mm. Oh, this little bit. And then this little bit. Top over there. Oh, that's why. There we go. Harper here, just want to thank you again for giving me the RV. I'm about to hit the road heading for pastures unknown, so beautiful and clean. I know you said not to, but since some cash over may put it towards a washer upgrade. Take care, yada yada yada. Okay, thank god I pawned it off to somebody else. I'm not going in the love mobile. A tacky one at that. <laughs> oh damn. I hate rust. <laughs> it turns out. Yeah, rust is not great. I don't like it whatsoever. I was so debating about using a rust cleaner or like a metal cleaner. But nope, I stayed strong and did that. And that took another chunk out of my life, but that's okay. Hopefully I this part isn't going to be as bad as the last one. But here we are. Clean the treehouse. We're going to leave that for part 10. I don't know if it'll be a finale or not. Like there, there's a good chance that like when I'm halfway through this, they're going to give me another job and another job and another job. But we're going to ultimately see what happens. But first things first, though. Let's check. Damn it. Still nothing. I would like... A, uh, I would really appreciate a freaking professional duty, please. It's okay, though. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. Maybe the last when we ta tackle on that treehouse. And that's going to be a journey. So, until then... Take care of yourselves, all right?